U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Monday praised for easing of tensions between Sudan and Ethiopia as fears grow of a spillover from the bloody Tigray conflict. On a telephone call with Sudanese Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok, Blinken raised the need to de-escalate tensions between Sudan and Ethiopia over the al fashaq border area, including recent commitments to engage in dialogue to resolve the issue, State Department spokesman Ned Price said. The fertile area claimed by both countries has seen a rise in skirmishes as Sudan sends in troops, which Ethiopia has described as an invasion. The firmland borders Ethiopia's Tigray region, where Addis Ababa launched an offensive against the local leadership in November, sending some 60,000 refugees fleeing into Sudan. The United States has been increasingly critical of Ethiopia, a long-standing ally, with Blinken earlier saying that the Tigray campaign involved ethnic cleansing. They need to come out, mm -hmm. and uh, a, a force that will not uh, abuse the human rights of uh, the people of Tigray or commit acts of ethnic cleansing, which we've seen in western Tigray, uh, that has to stop. We also the State Department welcomed a weekend announcement by Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed that chiefs from neighboring Ethiopia accused of perpetrating atrocities had begun a promised withdrawal from Tigray. U.S. relations have warmed markedly with Sudan since Hamdok, a civilian, took office in transitional government following the toppling of dictator Omar al-Bashir. Sudan also last week paid $335 million in compensation over anti-U.S. attacks from when Bashir welcomed al-Qaeda as part of an Islamist turn in the 1990s. Blinken separately hailed Sudan's signing of an agreement with a rebel faction, the Sudanese People's Liberation Movement in the north. Blinken also discussed the latest attempts to jumpstart diplomacy on the massive Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which Addis Ababa is moving ahead on despite protests from Sudan and Egypt, which rely heavily on Nile water. U.S.-led talks under former President Donald Trump failed to reach a resolution. The United Arab Emirates recently became the last to offer to mediate.